Hello my lovely Sagittarius, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look what's coming for you this week, November 28th through to December 4th. Yes, it's the last month of the year, Sagittarius, where the time's gone, right? I really hope you're doing great anyway, just keep in mind this is not one-on-one -on -one reading, this is a general reading for Sagittarius, like yourself, someone rising, so take the messages that do resonate and drop the Rice cards are super chatty today. It's hard to hold them in my hand. Now, don't be shy. Sus subscribe and, of course, like and comment if you feel that way. Right, Sagittarius. Let's dive in. The Chariot. Oh, Cancer is coming through. The Sun. Major is Nine of Pentacles. Fantastic King of Pentacles. Oh, and Five of Cups. Hmm. Interesting. An Emperor. Aries coming through as well. You know what? Things are really working out for you, Sagittarius. Finally. Big time. Big time. One, two, three. We have three majors. That is a big, big thing. Yes, it is a big thing. Now, I think you are demanding that things are really working finally out. You really want this happen. And there's no delays. Because Emperor is someone who is like saying, look, this needs to work out. And I'm going to make it work out, okay? So it, it is about structure, okay? If uh, something is not working, the emperor will figure out, okay, let's break it down, what, what's going on? And if something is working, you could say, okay, how are we going to achieve this? Step by step by step. However, emperor is talking about the zone, taking up leadership, taking on board um, responsibilities, more responsibilities, because emperor has responsibilities to do he's the father in a tarot he's the father in a tarot so he has he has the um, responsibility to provide make things make things sure and secure and this is something coming in your life that security uh insurances it kind of really feels that it's so important now as well with the page of pentacles there's a messages coming in that it's so important and there's some sort of resolutions coming and emperor is saying as well it's kind of like decluttering. Really get to the point. Okay, declutter whatever doesn't work. Leave behind and move on. And this is important. And now because you are moving towards, you are really more moving towards some sort of other leadership. You're stepping up a ladder. There is a, a beautiful moment happening. There is maybe you're gaining some knowledge that you probably are maybe sharing. And it's been not easy, right? Because chariot, someone is who is really determined that things really have to work out and it's like really mind over matter he knows he knows the road is going to be a bit bumpy but he's prepared he can control this is kind of not just a control but really managing managing the things mind situations and being in charge really take stepping up and taking the responsibility you know a lot of people talk about oh it's my rights my rights are this my rights are that oh hold on a second so what are your responsibilities? And this is what you're really taking seriously. You're taking your responsibilities super, super ser seriously. Now, with the sun, sun comes out, everyone's happy. And sun really highlights the great and good things in your life and really shines a very positive, um, po for the positive outcome. But it shines as well things on the, that are shadowy kind of things. So you will be able to see what is not working out. And maybe you are kind of bit not really completely 100% happy the way of the outcome or something is trying to out and shadow it but don't worry about that look because the chariot next to the sun is really saying to the sun look I know I'm well prepared that nothing gonna go exactly as I want or on the same speed but that's fine that's fine I'm in control I really take my responsibility and I really take um, ownership of what's going on in my life. And I really want to have that. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is, I really like that energy. It's an energy of being in in charge. Again, there's a lot of taking responsibilities. Maybe you're taking on new new role at work or maybe at home even as well. And it, it's a lot on your plate. That it's a lot of on your plate, but I can't, see, I cannot see that you cannot handle it. You really can handle it. Look, universe of God will not put or nothing on your back that you can't handle it. Okay, you, maybe sometimes it feels like oh my God, there's so much on on top of it, but that means that you need to maybe step up because deep down, 
you have this, you got this, you got that energy, you can do this. It's just now it's time to realize it as well. Stepping really up. And it's interesting to see now to the King of Pentacles, who is really well off. Maybe you are coming into monies and with that comes responsibility, right? And um, managing, right? If you earn more, you probably sp spend more as well. But it's kind of really kind of seems that you are leading your... You're really taking charge maybe of multiple people or running something that you are... Uh, that there's a bit, people depend on your leadership, depend on your decision making. Look how Five of Cups is looking at the, at the King of Pentacles. It's important, why I'm seeing this, is important that you have a good night's sleep. Because sometimes it could be a little bit too overwhelming, a little bit. Let's have a quick look what's going on. Yes, so this is really has kind of costed you a little bit peace of mind. Maybe it happened too quick. Or you weren't expecting that it will happen at all. And it's kind of has come as a surprise. And it has some sort of knock effect on you. So be mindful of um, that it's important for you to kind of remember uh, that you have minds. You have spirits, right? You have body that you need to look after. And that is your responsibility as well. Okay. Uh, that is very important. However, absolutely beautiful week have whatsoever. Now, what are you leaving behind? What are you leaving behind? What are you leaving behind? New beginnings. So it, it kind of feels this. You're really stepping sometimes into unknown. And you are leaving that kind of carelessness. You know, the, the fool can be sometimes really careless. You're leaving that carelessness behind. Because you're stepping into kind of big girl shoes, big boys boots, right? And that is demanding a real professionalism, demanding being um, adult about it. And it demands um, kind of really maturity in in ways, right? Right. What do you really, really want? What it is you self-reflection. So it is something that you probably wanted to go for. You really wanted to kind of push yourself. And it's 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 um it's 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 good. Yeah. Why not? It's kind of really pushing yourself. And what's the outcome? What's the outcome? This card is sticking out. Choices. We have the lovers and Geminis coming in. Oh. Oh. Right. With that, it kind of feels that you want to have more in your life. So this opportunity that you have here across is really kind of like a stepping stone. Like Eight of Pentacles, kind of that's next step, next stepping stone to the to the ladder, maybe. Um, it could be a feeling you maybe buying house or buying real cheap some sort of property, not cheap, but not not talking down in it, but it kind of like the first step, you know, stepping up on the property ladder so you can renovate it, maybe move forward. Or this could be a work that you are kind of entering to get knowledge, okay, take responsibility, learn experience, put on a CV, and move next forward. And that is very good, that's a good, good kind of approach. Meditate and contemplate. This is very definitely talking about you having some time to yourself as well. And believe in an impossible. So there, expect miracles. Miraculous situations happening. Now, the world is here as well. So it, definitely, you might be traveling. You might, people, you might meet people who have well traveled as well. And this is card about talking about um, kind of entering that next... I hate that word level. But I have to say it, it's kind of like next level in your own head as well that you would like to see yourself. And this is talking about the journey, the same as, as a chariot is talking. Now, we have weight and compromise. Ask help from others. So you will, along the way, maybe come across certain things that might not work out the way you wanted it. But don't worry about it. Like, don't get disheartened like the Five of Cups, okay? Work it through. Ask for help, Okay. And you never know. Sometimes the God's hand comes in a, in, a, in a form of human hand or advice. Now, we have Rosetta and Victory. These are beautiful cards. So this card is talking about you have a gift working with children. So maybe you are working with children. Maybe you are, are influencing a younger generation. However, this card is saying as well that you need to kind of maybe remember your own self-child. In a way, that being a bit playful, being a bit light light-hearted. And not taking things too serious. And this is the victory. And keep up the good work. You're doing absolutely fine. No, you turn. And people, Higgin, we have this people card that is 
network 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 i know a lot of people these days are working through the microsoft teams and not even actually people feeling people you know you need to have that handshake you want to have that energy right but try to have even uh, like camera on whatever try to have that sort of network as much as you can and uh, this will lead you to the interesting prospects ahead all right my lovely sagittarius that's all i have for you this week what a, a mega star week it is fantastic really great i'm sending you love and light you will need that and thanks so much for being here and i'll see you in the next reading take care